back at uh, Shanty Hollow Lake after some crazy thunderstorms last night. Water looks a little murky from the rain, but what a beautiful place to kayak regardless of the fishing. So let's get out there and give it a shot. Got my key and my wallet in a dry bag. I lock it to the back handle here. Hardly anybody here today on the holiday weekend. Pretty surprised. It's a big lake, not something I'm used to fishing, but the water's pretty murky. I might need to use some brighter colors today on my lures. Well, it feels good to be out. Get a little bit of exercise. Check out the scenery. Gorgeous place. There was some thunderstorms still on the radar. To the west but they seem to be falling apart as they moved east so I took a chance got up early did a bunch of riding now time for some fresh air and exercise and fishing evidently there's a beautiful waterfall somewhere on this lake saw some pictures on the line, so hopefully it's not so far that I can't paddle there fish about three minutes in, just like four or five casts. I saw some bait fish jumping, trying to get away. I figured it was a bass. Ooh, feels pretty good on the ultralight here. It's a good way to start with the Helger mite. Just a little bass, and man, that was fun. Indy's off. Nice. Let's hopefully I see some more bait fish trying to escape some bass over here. Fish number two on the Helger mite. Gotta tighten my drag, I think. Get a better hook set. Nice little bass. I tried a few casts with the Whopper Plopper and the Ned Rig to no avail, so back to the Helgramite we go. Thank you, sir. I'll take it. In another state where I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I'll definitely take it. Ooh. Man, he was really hooked. Thank you, sir. Ooh, feisty for such a little fish. Let's hope we get his big mama. Another one. Little one. Could see him herding the bait fish. Oh, and there he goes. Starting to get some consistent hits with Helgramite and developing a tiny little pattern here, so. I think I'm going to stick with it and not waste my time with other lures and other techniques. One on the retrieve, nice strike. Not very big, but bigger than the ones I've been catching. What a blast. 
starting to see these fish hurting the bait fish in the sh shaded areas. And cast them. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna have to do some research and find out what makes these mounds. They're all over the shoreline. Very interesting. Another one, doesn't feel very big. Ooh, it's a jumper though. Slow but steady action today with the Helger mite, but small fish, kind of few and far between, nothing too exciting. Thank you, sir. Feisty. The one right after that last one. Consistent and fun, even though they're not very big. I've definitely figured something out in this ginormous lake, which is very satisfying. Thank you, sir. There's another one. This one hit two or three times. Ooh, did he swallow it too? Holy cow. Look at that. Jeez. Thank you, sir. Gonna have to do surgery on this one. Another one. Been pretty consistent. With the Nico Helgramite. Oh, and he's off. That was the biggest fish of the. Oh, what the heck? He hit it again. After he came off, or another one following him hit it. <laughs> that was wild. Popped the Helgramite off of a rock, and as soon as it came off the rock, this one grabbed it. Feels like it could be the biggest of the day, which isn't saying much because they've been pretty small, but this one feels pretty good. Everything feels pretty good on this ultralight. I love this. It's a Okuma Salilo trout fishing ultralight rod. Thank you, sir. Chunker. Thank you, sir. I'll take it. There's that rod. Got it on Amazon. It was only $25 for the six footer. I've been incredibly happy with it. One of the lightest rods I've ever used. So less fatigue when you fish with it. Wow, what an incredible rock formation here. Stunning. Fish splashing behind me. Wow, I'm in awe. Well, time to do the long pedal back. There's some crazy rocks just under the surface. I can't imagine flying through this lake in my boat and then hitting one of these rocks. This one in front of me is a ginormous boulder and it's about three inches below the surface in some spots. Unbelievably huge. Hit that with your boat or your lower unit. Holy crap, I can't even imagine. Stunningly beautiful place. Fishing was very, very good, although the fish weren't very big. Nico Helgramite strikes again. You put it in front of a game fish and, and they just eat, the, eat it. It's just incredible. Smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, pike, they all eat it. So almost no matter where I am, I'm gonna give it a try. If there's fish in there, they'll eat it, so. All in all, for a big lake like this, I don't have a fish finder or anything. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So 
I don't have cell signal here, so I can't check the radar, and I'm a little bit worried being this far from the bolt launch. I don't want to get caught in one of the massive Kentucky storms, which are beyond what I'm used to in West Michigan. So let's err on the side of caution and head back over there. Thanks for watching.